It's Tuesday, which means it's time for another how-to. My name is Lauren Vigazzi, and I'm here to teach you how to do the crow pose. The crow pose is a little bit difficult. It's more for a intermediate yogi. We need to make sure that our core is already strengthened, but I'm gonna give you some tips on how to perfect your crow. Before we start with crow, we're gonna warm up with downward dog. So let's get onto our hands and knees. Having our wrists directly underneath our shoulders, we're gonna curl the back toes under and slowly lift the hips up to the ceiling, pressing them down and back. We wanna feel our heels sink to the mat, and then again, having the weight in our thumb and index finger so we can lift the other fingers up off the ground. Our shoulder blades down and back as we lift our hip bones high up to the ceiling. Taking a few inhales and exhales through the nose here. Feeling our body open, the muscles open. Now let's come down onto our knees. We're gonna curl the toes under again. Coming into a squat, we want to have the, the big toes touching, coming up onto the, to the toes, bringing our palms to the outside of our knee, but tucking the knee up on the upper arm here. And then lifting the hips up, coming up onto the toes and just feeling the weight move into the hands. Now we might think that this is an arm balancing pose, but again, it all comes in from the core. So we want to keep our core engaged, navel to spine, pelvic floor up, and then we'll slowly start to come forward. Maybe lift one foot up, see how it feels. Lift the other foot up, see how it feels. And then when we feel secure, we can lift both feet up, bringing the toes to touch, and slowly coming forward. Remembering to breathe and keeping the core engaged. And if you're a little more advanced, we can kick our feet back into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, back into our downward dog. Breathing it out here. And that's how you do Vakasana.